is my seat. So, we are on the mountain attempting to elk hunt. <laughs> and I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys what I packed. And um, we did some hiking. So I kind of got a little bit of an idea about what sort of worked and what hasn't worked. Um, this is also going to be kind of a to be continued because I haven't worn it enough to like really say for sure what is absolutely necessary. But I will say there's a few things that I'm like, okay, I'm really glad I have this or eh, I didn't really need this. So for reference, I've only hiked about seven miles with this pack. So that's about all of the experience that I have. So take it with a grain of salt, but if you are doing an elk hunt and you just need some ideas of things to pack, I'll at least give you kind of the rundown of that. I guess the first thing is the actual pack itself is Exo Mountain Gear. It's the K4, I think um, their series, but it's the um, EXS, which means extra small because a lot of women have smaller shoulders. We're not as broad shouldered as men and we're just a lot smaller, just in all ways. So I've been looking for a pack, you know, for the last few weeks and I was recommended this one several times because of how customizable it is for women. Um, I'll flip it around for you. Everything from the shoulder pads to kind of like where everything's positioned is custom and it's just smaller in general. So if you are a smaller framed person, um, I definitely, definitely recommend a pack that is very, very adjustable because it will make or break your hike. So, um, so far I, I really don't have any complaints about the actual frame of it. It's been comfortable. Like I said, it's only been seven miles, but I feel like that's enough to kind of at least get an idea. So it's been really nice in that aspect. Also, I know I'm sitting down, but that's because it's sunny. <laughs> so I'm just trying to show you guys everything in, in one frame, but that is my pack. So far, so good. No like major complaints on the fit. This is kind of just how I had my bow. I want it obviously easy, easily accessible. So I just have it strapped across the um, grip. I don't know for sure if I love it like that, but so far that's kind of just how I had it just because like the amount of space it takes up and I don't want it like banging on stuff when I'm walking. So I may adjust that, but for now it's been decent. Just one strap is on it. So pretty easy to get to at least if I need it quickly. So yeah, this is the pack. Trekking poles. I highly, highly, highly like can't stress this enough. If you're doing any kind of steep mountainous stuff, you need trekking poles. These are pretty cool. Um, this is black diamond and I love the core candle because you don't sweat quite as bad or if you do, it's like, I don't know. You just, there's no issues with the, the grip of it. And I got like a, I guess a small medium Alpine carbon, 95 to 125 centimeters. I think that's pretty perfect for my height. You might need it bigger if you're taller, but um, I took these out when we did the seven mile hike and these are pretty nice and definitely amazing for steep stuff. So up and down. So definitely recommend those. I don't really know where to start, to be honest. I have so much stuff here. Okay, so I guess I'll just start at the top. So. The top of this pack has this pouch is it's got two separate zips. One is like the deep pouch. I've got a, a waterproof bag with all of my camera batteries and I've got some spare headlamp batteries. So that's just something I want to have on me. I have a solar solar panel phone, like basically a charger for like your phone or whatever. Just in case my phone dies, I'd like to have that. I haven't used it yet, so I'm not entirely sure how well it works, but it's at least something to have. So that, and then also bring a cord, because I forgot that last time. Um, and then I've got not one, but two releases, because I just, I'm the kind of person that would definitely be dropping one somewhere at some point. So I just want to have two, just in case of a malfunction or if I drop one. Um, and then I've got extra reeds for my bugle tube. And then I've got all-in adapters for my 
um, binoculars. And then I also have one that's on my spotting scope, which I don't have that in the pack, but I am gonna have some horses for this trip. So I'll probably pack the spotter in the saddlebag. Um, so I do have an adapter for that as well, just because we're gonna be doing a bunch of glassing. There's a really good lookout spot um, that we found. So I wanna have this because looking through binos and spotters all day is exhausting for your eyeballs. So that is everything in the big pouch for now, at least I'll, I'll probably change some things around, but you know how that goes. Littler pouch. I've got five hour energy because I just like those. Um, I've got some protect, which are little like electrolyte pouches. Um, I actually met these guys at a TAC event, so they, they um, let me try some. I really love the hydration ones, they're pretty tasty. Watermelon's pretty good. And then my headlamp, I want to have that up top so I, ha I can find it easily. And then chapstick. Definitely bring chapstick in the mountains because it's very dry out here. <laughs> like miserable dry. Need that all the time. So that's the top. On the actual very top of my frame, I also have a Garmin inReach. I got the Mini 2, I think. Don't hold me to that. Gar yeah, Mini 2. Um, so that's been a lifesaver just, just to check in with, you know, friends, family, whoever. Um, I actually am going to end up needing it to get a hold of the guy that is bringing the horses out for us also because there's just no service. So that's kind of nice. And I like these because you're able to choose your like payment plan. You can do like monthly. And then if you don't need it for say the summertime, you can cancel the subscription and then restart it in the fall. So I've just used it this trip so far and it's been, it's been awesome. You just have to make sure you set it up ahead of time. And then moving inward, I've got obviously a hydration bladder because who wants to bring water bottles? Not me. So I kind of have it fed through and connected onto my shoulder strap so I can easily get to it, um, but also kind of get it out of my way if I need it to. That's just on, that's just on the inside. And then I also have a life straw just in case I run out of water and just need to um, drink from a stream or something. I have never actually used one of these, but I've heard really good things and they filter very, very well. So just to have as a backup. I think my hydration bladder is a three liter and it's called Hydra Pack. Hydra Pack, yeah. I'm not gonna dig it out because it's already full of water, but um, Hydra Pack, three liter. I think I got it off of Amazon. Okay, so then on the outside, I also have a, a compass in case we just happen to need it. I don't know if I will ever probably use it, but I'd like to have it just for safety measures in case all of our phones die. And then, I'm gonna just undo this top. On the inside, so my, I guess my right side. Yes, my right side. There are, there's a lot of vertical zips in this pouch, or in this pack, I mean, which is kind of nice, actually. I've got baby wipes. I've got a, um, a rain cover for my actual pack in case it, one, obviously rains, because um, I have camera gear and stuff I don't want to get wet. The pack itself is pretty waterproof, but this is just like an extra layer of safety for for gear. Um, but also I have it in orange just in case like you either are gun hunting or if I get an elk, I'm going to put this on regardless just to, I don't trust people. I just, I don't want to get shot. So we're just going to have this just to have it. It's never a bad thing. I have a tarp. I think this is like, I don't know, maybe 10 feet by six feet or something just in case it rains or if I need to, I don't know, put lay meat on it, something. It's just something I wanted to have. And then I've also got some fire starters, just in case, like, I don't think I'll ever probably really need this, but if I'm like doing any extreme, like deep stuff and we just don't make it back in time, just something to have. And that's really all I have on that side. I'm still kind of organizing, but it holds a lot, really. It, it holds more.
more than I think I even need. So then I have the pouch on that side and I've got tissues, a lot of tissues because I have bad fall allergies and I don't even know. Ziploc bag in case I need it for who knows what. That's all I have on that side. Down the center, I've got um, hot packs, just in case, you know, if, I don't know, if we're glassing and it just decides to snow on us, which is definitely possible just to have on my hands. And then I've got my wireless mics in a pouch. This one's kind of just like an easy access spot, so like if you just need something quick, if you don't want it up on top, this is kind of what the pouch is for. I don't have much in it right now. And then the next one over actually goes inside to the main part of the pack, which I don't have much in, except I do have, it's called a bear vault. We're technically in grizzly country, so I wanted to have something to kind of keep the scent down of our food. And I decked it out with all my favorite stickers, <laughs> which I think turned out pretty cool. I'm not a big like water bottle person, and I feel like most people deck their water bottles out with stickers so I did this instead but we've got all kinds of stuff we got mountain houses some protein bars regular bars energy chews um, I, I made like a homemade trail mix of like almonds and walnuts and dried fruits no chocolate because it melts pretty fast um, I don't know just a few other just like high protein stuff just to give us some energy because you know we're hiking a lot and I'm still undecided if I like this in the bottom, but that's where it's just going for now, um, just because it's pretty empty. And then the next one. Okay. So my left side I designated for anything that's like very important stuff um, that needs to stay dry. Kind of all put it all in Ziploc bags. So I've got gutting gloves. I've got, these are like regulations for the area. It's actually a map and like all of the separate elk units that we are able to hunt or not able to hunt. That way I can just refresh. Since we don't have service, this is just easy to look at kind of as a reference. And then obviously I've got knives for skinning, gutting, whatever. Hunting license, um, all of the permits, tags, you know, stamps, all that kind of thing. And then I always bring my hunter safety card with me on every hunt. If you don't do that, I would recommend doing that because there's just sometimes you need it. Some states require it, some don't, but I just keep it with me just to have it. So I have that in this orange thing, so I never lose it. This is like my first ever hunting license holder back when you had to wear them on your back. So that just maybe dated my age, but um, I just keep it in there just to so I know where it's at and then I've also got some zip ties and like twisty ties just to keep the tag on the antler or whatever so that's in that one and I'm out of breath because I'm trying to do this like sort of fast because I've got, I've got a lot of stuff and then I've got I'm not actually sure why I have these pliers in here I did have a reason but I don't remember so I'm just going to put them back in but there's there's pliers and then I've got a spork for our mountain house midday <laughs> midday meal so I just keep that on the side so I know where it's at and that's all that's in that zip and then really the last little bit of stuff here is just all the stuff that's on my hip I guess I'll show you guys this pack actually is sort of like a dry bag so you kind of just twist it down to like re close it and then the top part kind of cinches to the center center clips and then these other clips are ones that just go across so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that setup but that's just how it's recommended to do it so that's one thing I'm still going to kind of mess around with is all the straps I did not add any of my own personal straps so that might be something I do in the future so we'll see, but for now, this is how it is. So last thing is everything that's on my hip. So I got my bugle tube. I kind of just have it tied around this 
top piece. I did have it like when I was really hiking heavy, just up in this top pouch, but I think I want it kind of accessible. So I'm still not sure where this is gonna fully stay, but for now I just kind of have it here so it can maybe be on my side. Don't know yet. Um, so we'll figure that out. But the pack itself has a molly system on the hips, which I love. I love molly systems for a lot of th things because you can just put so much stuff on it. But I've got um, just like a, a knife that is easy to get to in case I need it for whatever reason. I've got my holster for my pew pew. So I'm not, I'm not gonna say that out loud, but that's just there in case I need to save myself from a bear or something, I don't know. And then on my, hold on, I had this looking a little nicer. Okay, then on my um, right hip, I've got this little pouch thing that I've just had forever. I just thought it might be handy. It turns out it is because I have my wind checker on it easy to just like reach down next to my side and just give it a little squeeze so I can see the wind. Um, but then I also can either put a phone or a GoPro in, which I like putting my GoPro in there, I think, because the one that is meant to go on my bow, when I'm hiking around a lot, like this magnet's pretty strong, but it's not strong enough to like not knock off. So I just leave it tucked in here until I'm ready to like shoot and then I'll just unzip, slap it on there, and we're ready to go. So I'm kind of glad I put that on there just to have as a little extra storage. I think I even have another chapstick in here because you can't have too many chapsticks. <laughs> so just kind of handy. And then I've got bear spray as a backup to the other hip. And then I've got my emergency kit. So first aid, different tapes, bandages, um, antiseptic, I don't even know what all is in it. There's all kinds of stuff in it. Um, lotion, maybe. I think I have an emergency set of, like, I have a lighter. Definitely bring a lighter if you need, like, fire starter. Tums. Eye drops. I've got an emergency flashlight. So, like, just all kinds of, like, little um, things that you might, you never know if you're going to need them. Laceration closure. A whistle. You know. Stuff like that. So that's kind of really the rundown of my pack. Again, this is just my first time really going at it, so I don't know if everything I have is everything I need or maybe too much. I do tend to bring more than I need a lot of the time, but I've always had the philosophy of like, I'd rather have it and not need it than not have it and need it, especially because I do solo hunt quite a lot. I have Brittany with me on this trip, so God forbid I break a leg or something, I at least have her, but um, if you are doing it by yourself, definitely be prepared, I guess, is the best thing I can recommend, as much as possible anyway. And then just my bino harness with my binos and rangefinder. This, I'm not entirely sure how like, I don't personally love to wear a bino harness because as a female, we have a little more up front and it just kind of is in the way. And when I'm hiking really hard, it tends to like fall down and hit me in the gut. And so it's harder to breathe. So I'm not entirely sure like the best setup for this, but I do like having it at least on me. So I'll have to figure that out and let you know. But bino harness, rangefinder, is that it? <laughs> Yeah. That's all that's in my pack, but I'm trying to think if there's anything. I mean, other just other random stuff. Like, obviously, I'm sitting on my decoy, which we did buy a cow decoy. <laughs> and then we dropped it and lost it. So we went to town and got us a spike because that was all that was left. I think everybody bought up all the cow, cow decoys. <laughs> so we're going to have to hope that he does the job. Maybe he might because they're about to start rutting pretty heavy here, but... Anyway, I think it's better than nothing, especially for us trying to film. I really wanted a decoy just to like maybe even cover us. That way, if, you know, if we're in a pinch of a situation where something's happening really fast and he's, you know, running in, we can get behind it. Um, because not to give away anything too much, but there are quite a lot of burn areas out here. So it's a lot more open than I think I anticipated. So I think it, 
a decoy is a pretty good move. Um, we'll see if the bull works, but I do want to find a cow decoy eventually, but it is what it is. We're just kind of camping out right now. We set up camp and uh, we're just in a little tent <laughs> trying to stay warm. We brought like a buddy heater, which I'm glad we did because it dips down and you know, below freezing some nights. So it's nice to be able to turn that on. Lots of propane because it burns through that more than I thought it would. Um, a cot with a sleeping pad is actually really handy. It's not something that's necessary, but it does help make your sleep a little bit more enjoyable. We also have a big um, Dakota lithium, like recharge battery thing, generator essentially. Um, so it's something we can plug our phones into, laptops, recharge all of our camera stuff, you know, my little Garmin thing, whatever it is, which has been also really nice to have just to, just to recharge. Cause when you're filming, it's, you, you kind of have to have it. If you're not filming, probably might not need it. We have the like MSR, basically a jet boil thing. Pocket rocket. Pocket rocket. Yeah, it's an MSR pocket rocket. MSR it's way pocket. smaller than the jet boil. Yeah, but same concept. It just is, um, basically doesn't have the water, on, like the cup on top, you can take it off. The jet boil is a lot harder to pack because it's like one big thing. So Brittany has an MSR, it's just like a little fold out stove top basically but it's like this big so that's what we, we've been using to boil water so that is pretty much the rundown i think i remembered everything at least everything important that's currently in my pack like i said i'll probably adjust things here and there but um i wanted to do this pre-season but i just have not elk on it in like five years and i really didn't even have a tag i was just kind of along for the ride so i didn't need all of this stuff like i do now um so that was kind of just like my rundown of everything that i have packed but i didn't want to do it ahead of time because i didn't know for sure what to tell you guys so that's kind of my little intro i may make another video after the season and say okay i actually really didn't need this or whatever so maybe stay tuned for that but for now that's uh what we're doing and we're gonna start elk hunting so Hopefully the next video you guys get to see is us getting a nice big bowl down on public.